Hello, okay, so I got asked the following question, um, how to make a capacitor. Um, so I'm just going to show you a very simple example. Uh, so uh, because we don't know the, uh, basically when you go to your schematic you put in a, an ideal capacitor there and what you can do is, uh, this is just an inverter that I'm showing right here. Uh, what you can do first is you draw a rectangle uh, like so and then what you do is uh, I'm gonna draw first both the top and bottom so I'm making what's uh, called the metal capacitor and then I do another rectangle uh, gotta click here and click there and then what we'll do is we'll go down to here we have uh, res underscore id capacitor underscore id diode so i'm going to draw this here and so i clicked on the capacitor underscore id draw i'm going to draw another rectangle on my layout and I'm gonna drag it over here. So if we save this, verify DRC, no errors found, verify extract. Now I'm not gonna do an LVS because I didn't put it in there, but from the extracted view, what you'll see, no errors. From the extracted view, what you'll see is a capacitor here and you can see its value right here so it's uh, femtofarads let's see if it'll change its value so right now it's uh, one about one femtofarad so I'm going to close this and let's for the let's just copy this uh, make it a two by two so I'm gonna overlap it here oh no it's okay I'll put it over here there we go so now it's overlapping let's make sure that we pass DRC because I oh, of course I didn't pass DRC those there was a space there Okay, uh, let's, let's just select, oops, let's select this guy. Uh, I don't have a very good mouse right now, so uh, you'll have to excuse. So we just move that down to here. Uh, let's do a save and verify DRC. Good, verify extract. Good. Okay. Now let's go to the extracted view. And so, yep. So it's changing the capacitance value. So um, you'll have to mess around with that. Uh, but for now, in the class project, you should probably be using what's known as uh, static uh, logic. So for the dynamic flip flop. You're going to want to use something that looks, uh, is it still recording? I hope it records. Okay, you want to use something that looks like this, uh, which was presented in 116. Um, basically what's happening is uh, this is a positive feedback path and you break it temporarily. Now what you can do instead of having it where it's break broken, you can size these devices differently, uh, but that's a little bit more detailed than you probably want to go into right now. So anyways, this is how you make a capacitor.